Holy shit. Hello everyone, review guy 95 back again, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my most anticipated movies of 2014, and that is The Raid 2. Now, uh, The Raid 2 takes place like moments after the first film, like right after, maybe an hour or so after the first film, which I really like, you know, they kind of connect. But it's like, oh, you can watch the first one back to, and then you can watch the second one back to back, and they just kind of sort of connect, and it just fits better. So you follow Rama once again, the guy that was in the first film, the main character, and this time he's an undercover cop, and uh, he's going in and making friends with this corrupted task force, and he's trying to protect his family. And uh, also, there's another thing. It's the first scene in the movie. I'm not going to say anything, but you'll understand why he's going after these people. But um, he meets this guy in this prison that he's going undercover for, and he has to go to prison. And he meets him to get closer to the head boss, you know. And uh, they become best friends, and then this other guy comes in, and shit hits the fan. And then it's like the Godfather meets the Departed. I can't remember who said that, but I know somebody did. I remember seeing it online. So, I mean, if that doesn't get you pumped for this movie, I don't know what does. The first Godfather is an excellent movie, and so was The Departed. So, I was excited to see how this film played out. So, let's not waste any more time. I give you the story. My thoughts on The Raid 2. I thought this movie was fantastic. I mean, everything in this film is just phenomenal, okay? I mean, it's just improvement over the first movie. I mean, look at the run times. Raid Redemption clocks in at around an hour and 41 minutes. I mean, you look at this film, two hours and 30 minutes, and you're just sitting there thinking to yourself, holy God, that's just like an ultimate just fighting in your face brutal film and it really is this movie is so gory and so bloody i am surprised it did not get the nc-17 rating i mean you got a you got hammer girl and baseball guy or dude or whatever his name is in this movie and i know it seems like that's kind of cheesy you know for names but holy shit the hammer girl and that freaking train scene it's like old bo old boy, freaking like 20 times bloodier and gorier. I mean, it's insane. The dual hammers, and I was just sitting there like, wow, this is just awesome. Uh, it has one of the best car chase scenes I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And believe me, people, I've seen a ton of car chase scenes in films. I mean, I thought the one from Born Supremacy was badass, but this one, that was just incredible. You have to see it. I mean, go to your freaking Best Buy, put the money down on the Best Buy counter, and get this film because it's awesome. Don't watch it in the stupid English dub. I messed up the first time I watched the Raid Redemption, the English dub. I thought it was stupid with that, and it looked retarded, and then I watched it with subtitles, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. And uh, just watch it the way it was meant to be, and it is meant to be with subtitles. Um, it just blows my mind, my mind how awesome this freaking movie is. It's almost difficult to even explain it and talk about it. I'm watching it for the second time right now. Just trying to take everything in and enjoy it for what it is. And what it is, it's just a awesome, brilliant, fantastic action movie. And it is so much more brutal than the first film. I thought the first film was really brutal. This one just takes it to a whole other level. There are death scenes and just gore scenes in this movie that I didn't even think was humanly possible that you could do that to someone. I mean, it's just, it's almost like a shock factor. And the freaking kitchen scene, oh dear lord, that has to be one of the best fighting scenes I've ever seen in a freaking movie, period. 
uh, I mean, it just goes on forever, and it's just, it's great. I mean, it's just got a darker tone to it. It's really, really serious. The first one was serious, but this one is like really, really serious. I'm like talking about Godfather, you know, the departed level serious. Uh, and like I said before, I remember seeing somebody say it's like the Godfather meets the departed which is an excellent combination because it does feel like that at times and also it feels like Yakuza the video game because the Japanese Mafia and everything and it kinda of feels like you know the whole Mafia because shit hits the fan and everything I just don't want to spoil anything I don't want to give much away because I think you guys should check this movie out it was my one of my most anticipated movies of the year and I'm not disappointed it's got to be at least in my top five movies of the year if not my favorite movie of the year so far this year alone I mean it's just the only real flaw I had with it was there's not a lot of character development for the main character I mean in the first one you realize he has a newborn and you know his wife's about to have a baby and he's got to go with the task force the SWAT team and take down the apartment and um, apartment complex, hotel, whatever you want to call it. And in this one, he has to protect his family, which his family isn't in it much. He talks to his family on the phone, and his kids, of course, is, you know, grown up now, which I think is crazy because it does take years later. The movie picks up right after the first film, but when he has to go undercover in the jail... And he meets the head honcho son, the big boss's son, pretty much. Uh, it takes like two or three years for him to get out of prison. So his kid is already like three or four years old. So, I mean, it's kind of believable. You know, I mean, it's really believable. You're like, okay, yeah, his kid is older now. So that makes sense. Um, but, yeah, the prison yard scene, the bathroom stall prison scene at the first of this it's everything I wanted I was so excited for this movie and it did not let me down like I said the only flaw is that and there's a returning actor he's played by a different character but he is a returning actor that was in the first movie and I thought that was really stupid because you can tell you know everybody's like oh my god it's like the same dude from the first movie well how that how is that possible you know and then it's not. It's the same actor portraying a different character. And I thought his him being in it was okay. He's not in it that much. So, you know, I mean, he has some cool fight scenes. That, that uh, one club scene is really cool. But, uh, and of course, the whole kind of opera music, you know, when he comes out of the club, which I'm not going to spoil anything. You guys will see that. I thought that was really cool. The soundtrack is really awesome in this movie. I mean, he goes from from very calm to really intense in a matter of seconds so uh, yes great soundtrack fantastic action that that freaking kitchen scene dude it still got me messed up there is tons of freaking scenes in this movie that you will remember from years to come down the road this movie is probably gonna be one of those super underrated films that nobody hardly even talks about but that's their own fault because I'm giving the Ray 2 a very strong four and a half to possibly even a five. This has got to be one of the best action films I've ever seen in my entire life, period. I know I'm hyping this thing up. You gotta believe me, dude. I mean, you got to see this film. I mean, if you don't like it, okay, but why? I mean, it has everything it's just two hours and 30 minutes of awesomeness that is the raid too i hope you guys like this video please subscribe rate and leave a comment lucy review will be up tomorrow ultraviolet giveaway should be up sometime today i am the review guy 95 i will talk to you guys later peace